Standard & Poor's says Indonesia's economy is more fragile than Malaysia's when it comes to foreign capital. It's found Malaysia's not as dependent on foreign capital to finance growth. Research by SNP shows Bank Indonesia's foreign reserves have seen a 9% drop over the past six months. The firm's director of sovereign ratings, Kiran Kari, says the government has disbursed too much of its foreign reserves to stabilize volatility on the currency market. The rupiah has seen a 5.1% depreciation since end of July compared to the Malaysian ringgit's 12% drop over the same period. Meanwhile, Indonesia's stock and bond market has seen a bigger drop than Malaysia over the past three months.